In this video, we're unboxing the new Samsung Galaxy Fold. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the cool tech that's coming out and learn tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today is an exciting day. We are unboxing the future of smartphones. Possibly, we'll see. Um, but let's jump right in and let's have some fun here. Bum, ba, da, da. So, Start with the box here. Yeah. 512 gigs of internal storage. Man, that is a ton of storage. Unlocked, and we have to wait a little bit longer to get the unlocked one, but it's okay because it'll work with our T-Mobile service. Um, yeah. I have to say that it was very challenging to not unbox this when I received it this morning. I wanted to open it so bad, but I held off because I wanted to do it on camera and I wanted to share the moment with all of you. So thank you for uh, joining. And without further ado, let's do this. It's not happening smooth. <laughs> all right. There it is. Leave that in the back because it looks pretty. And ba -ba -da -da. there we go. Let's pull that out a little bit there. That looks better. You know the reviewer units were much nicer. They got those boxes that popped open. I guess they didn't uh, want to give us all the fun stuff, but there it is. Okay. As we predicted, and all the articles have told us, um, care instructions, can't press too hard, no sharp objects on the screen, or you could cause it to permanently indent. When folding the device, do not place any objects such as cards, coins, or keys on the screen. The device is not water or dust resistant. Mm, that's okay. We'll not keep this around water. And let's see what else. Do not attach any adhesives such as the film or sticker on the screen. And the device contains metal. Keep a safe distance between your device and objects that may be affected by magnets such as credit cards, medical devices, yada, yada, yada. All right, that's enough reading. Oh my. I'm gonna pause here, because we're gonna spend the bulk of our time with that. Let's just take a quick look at what else is in the box here. What do we have? Meet your Galaxy Fold. There we go. So in case you guys haven't heard, uh, Samsung has a Galaxy Fold Premier service, 24 hour support line you can call for any issues or questions. Um, they do have a screen replacement offer, which is very exciting and reassuring to hear. Uh, it would cost you $149 plus tax if you bought it before December 31st, 2019. And you can simply scan the QR code to get to that service. So, good to know. We did buy it from Best Buy and we have 14 days to return it. So, um, if we don't love it, we might bring it back. But if not, we did buy the Best Buy Geek Squad Black Tie Protection, which does cover drops. So we are sort of double covered right now, which is great. And in here we have a case. It's so rare that Samsung gives you a case with a phone. So this is a refreshing. And for a phone this nice, I don't know how trusting I'll be on third party cases just yet. So I'm glad they give you one to start. 
quick reference manual there. Some setup stuff, terms and condition. And they show you how to put the case on. So that's nice. Just lots of instructions. All right. The new Galaxy Buds, which uh, I've been holding off buying. So I'm glad I did. Get these for free with the fold. For 2Gs, they better throw in something nice, right? So can't wait to try those out. We also have the adaptive fast charge. So uh, the Note 10 actually charges faster um, than the Fold, but that's all right. We still got adaptive fast charge. Put that there. This is gonna be our USB cable there. And we have our OTG, which makes for easy transfer with the Type-C cable in the box. All right, there is that. The boring stuff is out the way. My goodness, this thing is beautiful. Okay, um, we can take off this plastic film. Ha <laughs> ha, so we will be okay. We just can't take off the next layer of plastic. So let's do it. And what I'll do is I have my Galaxy Note 10 so we can compare the sizing. Here we go. Wow. I have seen so many videos on this and read so many articles and it's so nice to finally have the device in hand. Now this is the Cosmo Black, um, although the silver Variant was nice and beautiful. Um, glad I got this one. And let's turn it on. Power button's gonna be on the right. Fingerprint scanner is on the side, right there. Which I actually like the power button fingerprint scanner better than the in-display because the in-display scanner is not quite there. So, and there it is. Sorry, I did misspeak. The power button is not in the fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint scanner is right below the power button. Now on the Galaxy S10e, uh, it did have a power button fingerprint scanner, but with uh, the Fold, it is a separate button. So the button is right below the power. So just to show you guys up close. Let's oh. get started. Have that volume up and down, power, and the fingerprint scanner is right below right here. Got that triple camera set up. And our get started, we're not gonna set it up just yet. But it is a good idea to put that case on. But before we do that, I knew some of you would be a little curious, so I'm going to take my Note 10 and put it right next to it so you guys can just get an idea of the sizing. So this is the Note 10, not the Plus, just the regular. So as you can see, it's basically the same, the same height from top to bottom. And then for those of you that follow my other videos, this is the A10e. Same thing, it's about the same height. It is the same height, same height as A10, same height as the Galaxy Note 10 as well. All right, last thing we're gonna do before we close out, we're just gonna put this case on there and show you what it looks like with the case on. And from there, we will close out this video and then we'll have more videos to come uh, definitely leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think and we'd love to hear what videos you want to see Of course, we have a couple uh, that we uh, are going to do but we want to hear what you guys want to see All right, so here we have our instructions on how to install the case. So the case does have uh, Some tape on it. So you have to pull the tape off first and the case just sticks to the fold and it looks like it's better if we close the phone first. Man. 
That is interesting. Let's really quickly show you what it looks like closed next to the Note 10. So actually, you can see it's a little bit taller, just a hair taller, kind of a, a, a rough angle, so sorry the camera is set and I can't move it, but um, it's a, just a little bit taller than the Note 10. And it is, um, again, just a hair, the A10, uh, or the A20, excuse me. I misspoke, this is the A20. A20, again, it's just, just a little bit taller, so not too much. It looks very tall because it's, uh, because how each side is slim, but yeah. All right, let's put the case on really quickly here. We'll do the camera side first. You're just gonna peel the adhesive off. There's two sets of adhesive. Okay. So that one's off and then we'll peel off this side here. There we go. And that's just gonna snap on. Very easy to put on. It is a carbon fiber feel there. Very nice, has a little Galaxy Fold logo at the bottom there, that's cool. And we have the other side. Just peel that adhesive off. There's a clear adhesive and then there is a black strip. Do not take the black strip off, just the clear adhesive tape. And Snap that on, and there it is. The Galaxy Fold, here it is. Guys, thank you for joining us for our unboxing of this monumental phone here. Leave us a comment down below, let us know your thoughts. Are you excited about the phone? What do you wanna know about the phone? We wanna hear all your thoughts, and if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button if you did like the video as well. Take care and have a good one.